Good afternoon, Pep. Yeah. Raheem Sterling's 23 today. I just wondered, how close do you think he is to playing at his full potential? And if not, how good do you think he can ultimately be? Well, with 23 years old, it's always you can, you can do better. You have a lot of uh, distance to, to achieve, to, to get you your best uh, level. So I think he has a lot of things to improve, and, and that's why he will have a long career. Could you give us an update on David Silva's fitness? He's going to play. He's going to play. Yeah. Because Jose Mourinho seemed to suggest that you were to, perhaps going, trying going, to pull the wool over our eyes a little bit. He's going to play. The doctor told me in the beginning of the, se the week, after the game was home, it was a bit up, doubt about his playing. That's why I said what I said, but uh, today he arrives and said he's really good, so he's going to play. Huge game. You don't need me to tell you the importance of the match on Sunday. Could the biggest challenge for your team be getting past David De Gea? No, the big challenge is play good, is uh, to try to control their, their uh, stark points, you know, because they, they have is United and Old Trafford. And, uh, and try to do our game. So my focus is uh, going there, uh, relax, and, and knowing uh, if you don't win individual duels, it will be almost impossible to beat them, and, um, and try to, to play good, to play good football, what we have done, in the, play football in the terms to be what we are. So I would like to finish the game going to a locker room and feel, okay, we were what we are, in the season and after the result is going to be nobody knows what's going to happen and and try to to find the, the best way to, to play good and win the game. Um, Pep, you have an eight point lead over Manchester United. If you were to draw the game you would be a better result for you than Manchester United but I know it's not your nature but is there no temptation to go there and, you know, play cautiously, get the point, knowing that it will do more harm to Manchester United? Winning, drawing or losing, we are not going to win the Premier League, we are not going to lose the Premier League. So it's, it's a, first of December, it's an important game because it's United, because you can get points and the opponent cannot, but <laughs> the same for them. So it just focus in these days after the Shakhtar Donetsk game, thinking what do we have to do to make a good performance and try to win the game. That is the only I am concerned. So I'm not going to play, we are not going to play thinking, OK, we have eight points, what do we have to do? Because we have eight points. Uh, so the difference is in the semi-final of the Champions League or quarter-final Champions League or FA or something like that. You have one result in the first leg, not the second one. You have to think about a little bit what you have done in the previous game. But it is a, it's a marathon, the Premier League, so it's just what the part. We didn't arrive in the half of the marathon, so we have a long, long points to, to play, more than 70. So we just focus in the game, uh, in the results, and after that, recovery and thinking in Swansea three days later. So it's simple like that. So it's going there to do our game. That is what I want to see on my players. Hi, Pep. Can you just check on a couple of the other players who, who didn't play in, in Ukraine? Um, Fabian Delph and Vincent Company, how are they, please? Well, Fabian, uh, Vincent Company, I'm going to be the real update. Uh, Vincent Company, uh, before the game on Shakhtar, the training session before travel to Shakhtar Donetsk, felt something. He was not comfortable, and that's why he could not play, because I, I thought playing in Donetsk. And Fabian Del was uh, sick, he had the vomits and, uh, and it was fever the day before. That is why he could not play. The only guys who not play because I want to give them time to rest a little bit it was Kyle and, and, and Nico because Kyle and Nico were the last eight or nine games, including national team, play 90 minutes. And it was so, so minutes in their legs. And the other ones, today is day off. So I don't know how is the players, but uh, the other I, tomorrow we're going to check how is the conditions. Um, Jose is obviously um, he's made it very clear before that he's, he's, he's obsessed with trophies and a lot of the time the number of trophies he's won is justification for the way that he plays with you 
you seem to say that um, trophies will be a consequence of the way you want to play in terms of it's, it's the way you play that's important and the trophies should follow. Are you as obsessed with silverware and trophies as he is? Definitely. In that we are twins. They want to win. He want to win trophies. I want to win trophies. And I think, I think, eh? um, Antonio Contos well, and Jurgen, uh, and Mauricio, and uh, and all the leagues around the world. The the, the, the managers are there. So it's not about. Uh, I never criticize my colleagues the way they play. I never did in the past. I will never do in the past. The football is magnificent for that, because every manager play in the way they play. There are the different ways to 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 enjoy football, to enjoy it, and uh, and that. So it's simple like that. So uh, I wonder what what are your memories of Manchester United as a young man growing up, as a as a footballer. As a manager, what does Manchester United mean to you? When I grew up, like uh, in English football, following the 18s, and <coughs> Liverpool was uh, the best one. I remember the way they played, the passing, and moving for the for the play. I remember that year. Many times about that after when Fer Ferguson said Alex took over the team, and the first years in terms of result had the problems, but after that, and especially with the generation for the young players for United, they dominate absolutely. The, the Premier League and uh, especially the Premier League and, um, and and United it was my when I was a teenager I was the, you know when I started to play football in England United after that was lucky to play two, two finals of the Champions League against them and um, and and leave that situation how important that club is in terms of the a huge amount of, of quality players and of course go, going to Old Trafford is a pleasure so uh, I said many times in Barcelona and Bayern Munich, and now here, I am a manager to play these kind of games. Of course, I love to play all, a, lot, a lot of games, but play Champions League and play these kind of games in the bigger stages, in important games, is fascinating for us. That's the reason why we are here, and I will enjoy it, and I will enjoy it, definitely, to prepare the game, to arrive. I am looking forward to arrive. I would like to play tomorrow or in few, in few hours. So I love, I love to be there, to be part of there. Because it's just a game. I, I, I took that moment like a, a game to enjoy it, what we can do to beat them. And after that, shake hands, improve what we have not good, enjoy what, what it was a good game, and prepare the next one. Hi, Pat. Hi. Lots of talk um, ahead of this Manchester derby about um, how good your squad is, how good your team is. Lots of talk about the record as well of consecutive wins in the Premier League. Uh, just interested to hear what your assessment is of the quality of your team and the way that they've played so far this season. Well, we are so good that we lost in Shaq Donets. So Not in the Premier League, then. But that's true, but it's good, I think, that the fit to realise uh, how difficult actually everything is. Yes, until now we cannot, we have not complained in terms of results and especially the way we, we played. So when you see... In every game, the statistics, not just the way we play statistics, always we are better in terms of the potential goals in uh, possession and uh, chances conceded and many, many aspects. I think United is fantastic on that. When the statistics are good, they win. When they are not good, they are able to win 1-3 in, in Emirates instead in one of the most difficult stages. I think, I think United is strong on that. So when they concede 33 shoots on 33 shoots and they win 1-3. So, and, and few teams in the world, they are able to do that. That's why we have to be carefully because you can control, you can do many things good, but they, they have talent to, to, to beat them. Of course, we are, we are happy so far, but I said many times, so we are not the champion because we are in December. Nobody is the champion, not just we, we are top of the league. Nobody is there. But tomorrow we're going to try to, of course, they know it. Everybody knows it. We're going to try to, to do our game and try to win the game. And how much does that record of uh, consecutive wins play on your mind, if at all? Do you no, think about that at all? No, nothing. That it matters? Absolutely nothing. So if, if you are going to play one game just thinking record, you, f you, you forget what you have to do to win the games. It will be nice because it means we, have, we, we won. But that is, sooner or later, the, break, the record is going to, to be breaked. So... Uh, it's how we have to do to win the game. That is my concern now. 
Hi. Um, question on Vincent Company. What did you exactly feel was the same problem as you had before? Are no. you concerned about this? No. And he felt something. On Sunday? He knows his body better than anyone, so he felt something, and that's why he could not play in Donetsk. What my first impression is, it will be good to play, uh, to get rhythm for, for Old Trafford. So until tomorrow, we will, we will know if he's able to play. <coughs> Recently, uh, you faced teams that defended really well, and United is a team that defends really well, and I'm not saying they're just going to defend, but they defend really well. So uh, in terms of planning the match, uh, do you think this match specifically demands a little bit uh, extra creativity from your players and from yourself as well? Yeah, when you, you face the big, big clubs, the big teams, demanding a little bit more. So they defend well, so I don't know how many goals can sit at home. I think one or two, no more than that. And, and it's, so, it's so complicated to, 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 to score goals against them, but that is the target, to try it. And, and of course, they, they don't only defend well, they, they create chances. So when they arrive and Martial, Rashford, Lukaku and Lingard and all these kind of players, they can run when they arrive in the boxes. They are they are danger players, so we cannot forget this Manchester United. <laughs> United always had an amazing, an amazing players, so we know that. And of course, when you you play against big big teams, if you don't give the best of yourself, it's almost impossible to beat them, and especially away, uh, in Old Trafford. But that is a challenge, and it's nice to to face this challenge. Your, your players talk about how much time they spend doing boxes under you in training and how much they enjoyed it. Are the boxes and that sort of approach, is that the essence of your football when it comes to match day? I, yeah, I like, I like to pass the ball. I like, so... Uh, I like, but no pass to pass for one sense. I love it, yeah, I love it. I love when my players, from the goalkeeper until the end, they are able to pass the ball as quick as possible, move in one sense. It depends one movement, it depends on the other. But sometimes it's more difficult to do that because the opponents play play the same. But I love it, yeah. I think when you see our patterns, like a manager since Barcelona by Munich here, is quite similar in the terms. I want the ball. That is my, my, my main principle. And after that, we don't have the ball to be well organized to recover as much as possible, knowing that the opponents, they want to punish you when you lose the ball to use the magnificent counter-attack. And I think uh, the teams from Jose Mourinho in, in, in Porto a little bit less, but in Chelsea, in Madrid, and here, they are a master of that. So they are uh, so good running and running behind. And, and when you lose the ball in the position, you attack no, a little bit with well organized, they punish you in one action and they, they win the game. You've, your full backs attacking have been a big part of your game this season. United are also quite strong in that area. Young and Valencia both attacking a lot. When you're away from home in a game like this, do you have to tell your fullbacks to be a little bit more careful? And how how crucial are the wide areas going to be in this game? Well, you have to defend this area. Yeah, definitely, definitely with the uh, fullbacks or for attacking midfielders or the holding midfielders or with the wingers, you have to close that space, not just with the fullbacks, uh, because uh, it depends on the quality of players. You you count. When you have the energy for Kai Walker, you need to attack with them, with him. So, but of course, yeah, yeah, yeah. When when they attack with the possession, you have to be careful with the quality of the players they have in front. But when you attack, of course, when you lose the ball, are going to attack immediately with Lukaku. We set the ball or make a movement uh, behind our fullbacks, or especially, of course, with the movements with Martial or Rashford or Lingard, where they have potential to run 40 meters and create their problems. Yeah, yeah definitely. That space is close to the, beside for the central defenders, behind our fullbacks, is a space you have to be careful, in, definitely. Let's take a couple of questions Hola. in Spanish. Hola, bon dia. Per com esteu vosaltres i per com estan ells, també consideren que els primers dos derbis de l'any passat arriben molt aviat. Creus que el de dimuens pot ser el de més nivell? Dels que ve d'aquest any i mig? Ah... In theory, in theory, probably, because tant, tant ell, tant United com, com, com nosaltres portem més temps junts amb el mateix entrenador i, per tant, coneixem més les coses. Uh, sí, probablement. 
probablement és el moment que arribem millor els dos i ells arriben molt bé en temps del que fan, ho fan cada vegada millor i amb molt bons resultats, igual que nosaltres. 